We kick off our coverage of the political parties in Pakistan and their web presence online, starting with the leader of the pack. I, I was wondering, what is the Pakistan People's Party's official um, approach to using the online media? As you know, Pakistan People's Party is a modern liberal party and we are uh, very friendly with the new technologies. But at the sa same time, our followers are mostly from the classes who are deprived from the marginalized, from the marginalized classes. And therefore, although we, we really would like to have the technology uh, uh, transferred to the lowest level, but somehow or the other, we have not been able uh, to do that as successfully as uh, uh, our American counterparts or British counterparts have done it. What about uh, a strategy? I mean, I'm sure you, uh, you being the information secretary of the party, have a, have a media strategy. Does the web come into that at all? Uh, right now, although the website is, uh, webs are very, very important and people living outside Pakistan, they contact us through the website or we, we keep in touch with them with, uh, with the website. But unfortunately, right now in Pakistan, the main focus is the electronic media. So what are some of your future plans, if you could share something with us for, for PPP supporters who are watching this program? Uh, first of all, I, I, as you have rightly suggested, uh, the website has to become more updated, number one. And most of the information should flow through the website, number two. And number three, although it is not yet decided, I will take it up with the co-chairman, Mr. Asif Ali Zardari, that uh, membership forms should, di should be distributed through the website. With millions of followers around the country, it only makes sense that the PPP would have the largest presence online. Adnan Tariq walks us through through the online activities of the Pakistan People's Party. With millions of supporters on the ground, the PPP is the single largest party at the helm of power in Pakistan. What is fascinating to see is how the party is represented on the World Wide Web and what resources they do employ to disseminate their party manifesto and information to their supporters. The official PPP website, though not very appealing, has all the data one may need regarding the party. It's not very interactive but has a lot of information regarding the founders Zulfiqar Ali Bhutto, Life Chairperson Benazir Bhutto and their party structure. Other than that, most of the news is very outdated with no new press releases or updates regarding the party's activities. People will be surprised to know that the PPP has a website for its United States chapter, when news and activities regarding its overseas office bearers is posted. A link to join the PEP online is also available for people wishing to lend their support. Even though a website for the United Kingdom chapter is available, it has no information other than the startup page where a message by the co-chairman is listed. Dubai is a strong base for the PPP, so it's not surprising to see a well-built site for its supporters in the Gulf. Other than some dead links, overall it's a decent attempt to have an online presence in that part of the region. If you want to browse down memory lane, you can visit the official website of Benazir Bhutto. It's simple, but packs a mean punch with its content. Everything from a background, policies and classic photos are available for her supporters. Surprisingly, there's an official PVP blog which is more up to date than most of the party's websites online. Lastly, the PVP Urdu website. Being true to its base support, the national language webpage is much more accessible with news, views and interactive data for the general population. But if the PPP is to survive the age of the internet, it has to take a leaf out of the other parties' books and encourage their office bearers to embrace the new revolution taking place online. Adnan Tariq, Dawn News. To talk about the uh, web strategy for the PMLN, we've got on the line with us the Information Secretary for PMLN, Mr. Essan Iqbal. Um, Mr. Iqbal, I was just wondering, what is the media strategy for PMLN as far as the online media is concerned? Well, uh, as you know that uh, media, not only in Pakistan, but all over the world, has drastically changed uh, thanks to the innovation and development in technology. 
and now web has become a major means of uh, communication uh, with uh, people all over the world and it also allows you not only to reach out people inside the country but also to reach out to those who are outside the country and particularly the expatriates. When we spoke to the uh, uh, PPP uh, Information Secretary, Mrs. Uh, Fazia Wahab, she was of the opinion that yes, the website is there, obviously they have a tremendous amount of work to do, but she said that the mandate of a party is to address the common man who may or may not have access to the internet. Uh, or through or to technology. Doesn't that um, kind of negate the power of technology? What do, what do you have to say about that? I think now this is the new media and this is the emerging media and uh, particularly if we are catering to the youth of Pakistan, uh, which is now more than 54% uh, of our population, we find a very high level of literacy amongst our uh, youth. And one of the uh, credits we take is that in our two tenures of government PMLN, try to promote a modern infrastructure of telecommunications and fiber optics based uh, backbone of telecommunication infrastructure was laid and thanks to that uh, we have a very uh, broad based internet connectivity in the country but now even uh, this uh, you know uh, uh, internet connectivity has gone and undergone a paradigm shift with more wireless uh, opportunities uh, being there. So I think we will have much greater access in our country and with the rising number of youth, uh, there are now more people who are visiting uh, web. So we have to cater to this medium. Uh, without this, uh, the communications uh, which we want to uh, keep with our people will be incomplete. They're known as the party of the tiger. But what about their prowess online? Adnan Tariq finds out. With the government in Punjab, the PMLN is the country's second largest party. It would make sense for them to have a strong presence on the World Wide Web to disseminate information to their supporters. Sadly for their party workers, this is not the case, as the PML only has two websites listed on the internet. The Pakistan Muslim League's website is not much to look at. Basic templates with text thrown in the mix do not make for good viewing. Basic data regarding the party and its different wings is available, but it's a site which is not pleasing to the eye. But wait, as the saying goes, out with the old and in with the new. Here is where the true genius of the PMLN lies. Just as their leadership is trying to turn over a new leaf, the party too has a new official website. Political parties making an effort online is always a good thing to see and the PMLN had made sure to have their website up to date with the latest web technology available. At first glance, one can see a link for a membership drive where one can sign up and become a supporter. Loads of information regarding the history of the party, its leaders, their manifesto, the different upcoming events is available. Even though all the information is not present, as the site has not been formally launched, it's good to see that the party is making an effort to be more transparent. Taking a page from Obama's book, the PMLN has a news alert feature whereby one can sign up to receive regular updates regarding the party. Members have a special section if they register with the site with a private area ready for just their viewing. Another idea which proved so successful during the US elections is a donation section. People can show their support by contributing monetarily. Contacting the party has been made simpler with quick responses from the web team a surprising thing to see. Links to local and foreign media outlets is also available on their website so one can check out what's happening around the world. The PMLN leadership understands the demands of the 21st century and its strategy is simple. To attract the younger generation and the web going public, it has to make an effort to have a strong presence online. One just has to wait and see the kind of response they get from the netizens in Pakistan and abroad. Adnan Tariq, Dawn News.